Well, tonight, Birmingham police announcing an arrest in a shooting which paralyzed a 12 year old boy from the waist down. Joshua Brown surrendered to police last week before bonding out a few hours later. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm John Papke. Guy and Sherry have the night off. That shooting happened on March 22nd when Brandon Roller was outside playing with a group of friends when Brown and others started firing shots. Roller was hit trying to get away. WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn is live tonight. Aaron, you talked to Roller and his mother tonight. The arrest bringing more questions than answers, correct? Yeah, John Brandon Roller's mother, Courtney Chesner, says that it's hard to know that an 18 year old is sitting behind bars tonight after shooting her son and almost taking his life. As she says, those shots that were fired changed her family's life forever, but she still can't figure out why someone would have shot her son. Justice is finally one step closer to being served for 12 year old Brandon Roller. I didn't care. Birmingham police announcing an arrest in connection to a March shooting that left Roller paralyzed from the waist down. It took too long and I still can't walk, so it doesn't affect me. Roller's mother, Courtney Chesner, says it's hard to see another child face the consequences for almost taking her son's life. I don't want vengeance, you know what I'm saying? I just, he's not going to be able to do a lot of things and the fact that he was able to bind out just like that, pick up, move as they please, they can all do as they please. And they don't realize what they did to my family. She believes there were multiple shooters who are responsible for changing her family's lives forever. I'm not supposed to feel bad, but I feel some type of way because they're children, you know what I'm saying? But consequences have to be done. I just wish that he didn't bind out the same day. And she hopes more arrests will come to hold each person accountable. I don't want no harm on no kids, but at the same time, I feel like it could have been more arrests besides that one child because it was about 10 of them, five, 10 of them, and um, they had multiple guns. So her and her family can get answers to their questions and continue their journey to heal. I want to hear, I'm sorry. I don't want Facebook to have their narratives. I don't want the police to have their narratives. I don't want just people in the world to have their narratives. I want to know they're sorry. But until then, <laughs> Chesner and her family are moving forward with Roller being the glue that holds them together. He is our strength in this household. The way he move around and talks to us, he's our strength in here. Everybody be sad. He has his sad days, but when we say it, he get us together. He's my strength. He's their strength. Now, now earlier tonight when I talked to Roller, he tells me that he's going to be starting a new school in the fall. He'll even be in the band where he's going to play trumpet. And this summer, he's going to start playing wheelchair basketball where he's excited to start traveling with his team. Live in Birmingham, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.